Hello, hello, my paper peeps. Today I will be sharing with you how to create this paper bag clutch that you can put pretty much anything in. Feel free to use it as a pouch for your ephemera, or in this case, a carry-all for these postcards and journal cards, or anything else you might want to store and collect. I'll be using this principle from my paper line, The Blush Collection, and we'll be making this clutch as a Mother's Day gift for the special women in our lives. Now, if you're using the journal cards or postcards from this collection, there is a caveat to this gift. It has to come back to you. If you've gifted this to your mom, and if it's been given to a friend, she can give it to her children or even back to you. The stipulation is that she has to fill it out, but we'll get more into that a little bit later. So let's get crafting. Firstly, I want to do a shout out to Gina who showed me how to do this. Thank you, Gina, so much for making this such an easy project to create. Now, what I used here is a paper bag that measures six inches in width and almost 12 inches in length. And you can purchase this size online or if you do a weekly bagel run to your local grocery store, you can just use the paper bag that your bagels came in, just like what I did here. The first thing you want to do is open up the bag and gently fan out the sides like this. Then you want to pull the bottom of the bag towards you in this manner. Now it might crinkle up on the sides, but with a little bit of maneuvering, you should be able to flatten it out. Once that is done, you can fold the other part of the bottom of the bag towards you and fold it over like this. This will become your clutch flap. I wouldn't worry too much if the edges don't line up. I guarantee you none of the paper bag edges will line up. So uh, don't worry about that. Do your best to just fold it over. Just naturally let it fold over onto itself because even if the edges don't line up, you'll actually be decoupaging paper on top of that and you won't see the unevenness. And if you did, you know what? It, it kind of adds a little bit of interest to the clutch. You'll then want to adhere those two pieces together with double-sided adhesive. The next thing you want to do is just under the natural crease here, you want to score a quarter of an inch just below it. Then fold the bag like this so that the opening of the bag meets the score line. Now, before you go ahead and make the clutch, you want to embellish it first. And here I'll be using this principle that is specifically for the clutch or you can use any leftover scraps from your crafting to create this as well. In this example, I used leftover scraps from the paper line. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christine and my crafting community and I are currently in the blush collection where we have been in the process of crafting this beautiful journal box right here. It's my modern take on scrapbook journaling. It has recipe-like journal cards for you to journal in all year round. Some of them even have frames on the back for you to add photos. I've also created this cute little mini accordion album that fits right inside the box.
The great thing with this paper line is that I've also included postcards too. Now, the whole idea behind this journal box type of scrapbook journaling is that it not only encourages self-reflection, but also serves as an inspiration to maybe write a loved one a note or card while you are in your quiet time. I actually even made some cards that are more kid-friendly so my daughter can journal alongside me. It is by far one of the best things I have ever created because I'm no longer the one who's prompting her to hang out with me. She's the one who initiates or actually reminds me of our journal time together, which right now is about twice a week. And this is where this whole idea of leaving a legacy comes from. As women, as mothers, as grandmothers, aunts and friends, we have experience that has shaped who we are today. I look at my mom and my mother-in-law, and these women have gone through the gauntlet of life. Although they can no longer care for the grandchildren, I do believe that they have a wealth of knowledge and wisdom they can still pass down to me and my kids. And that's why I think this is a fabulous gift idea for our moms. As we get older and our children become more self-sufficient, we as mothers sometimes feel like we are no longer needed. On the contrary, you are needed more than you can ever imagine. If you are a mother, a grandmother, or a woman, a man or person who is put in the mileage, you are still needed. There is a lot of work to be done. And the most important work is raising our future leaders. And those are the little ones that are coming up behind us. Though times are changing, I truly believe that there is truth and wisdom that experience has taught us. And the generations after us need our loving guidance to help them foster a healthy, loving, productive, and godly life. I still believe we can impact the world no matter how old we are. So with that being said, wouldn't it be wonderful to send a beautiful gift like this that has postcards and journal cards with pictures that you have put in yourself? So these are family photos of you and your kids for your mother to enjoy, reflect on, and write a loving word of encouragement back to you. So in essence, you get to give this to her, but she has to give it back but it's full of her thoughts and prayers for you and your family. And now you have a collection of your mother's words of encouragement and wisdom you can enjoy for years to come. Now, if you don't have any scraps left over, then you can use this addition to the paper line that I specifically made for this clutch to embellish it. So far, if you find this information helpful, could you do me a favor and stamp that like button for me, please? And if you are interested in more scrapbooking and journaling tips and tricks, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Now, after you've completed cutting up all the pieces and placing and gluing them down, now you can seal the collage in place. I'm using Mod Podge here to seal the pieces into place. I've heard you can use beeswax 
and the result apparently is stunning. But I haven't used it yet, so I am considering that because I've, I've heard great things about it. So, But for now, Mod Podge I think is just an easy way to seal. So go ahead and try that for this project. Now I like to use two coats here. You can use one. I think the more the better. They say up to five coats um, to get that sealed finished look. It's completely up to you. But once you're done that, you can adhere the sides of the pouches using double-sided adhesive. Now, I like to finish it off by sewing the edges. <laughs> now, uh, I wish I could say that my sewing here was intentional. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. <laughs> this little mistake or these these uneven sew lines are the fact that I'm just not very good at sewing. <laughs> so thank goodness for the vintage look, the uh, the grunge look, whatever you may call it, because it kind of worked out here. <laughs> but yeah, I, I find that if you can sew it, then the project stays together a lot better. Okay, so here are two finished clutches, one with leftover scraps. And the other with the new addition. They're both beautiful. Now on this clutch, I had to add these fancy washi tapes from the washi tape shop. Oh my goodness. These take my projects to another level. If you missed last week's video on how to use fancy washi tape, go ahead and check out that video that I'll put a link to at the end of this video. Once that's done, you can add postcards, journal cards, maybe some of your favorite teas or pens or even washi tape for your mom to craft with. And then you can seal it with any closure. I used this closure here and I'll put a link to how to do this one at the end of the video as well. I hope you enjoyed this and are inspired to create to connect. If you're interested in more tips and tricks, watch these videos here. Take care and we'll see you in those videos. Bye.